Hey there, this is Math Camp 321, and in this video we're going to talk about degrees, minutes, and seconds. Sometimes we need a more precise unit of measure than just a degree. So we go ahead and we subdivide each degree into smaller units called minutes, and there are 60 minutes in a degree. But we can go even further and then subdivide each of those degrees into yet smaller units called seconds, and there are 60 seconds in each minute. Before we get started in doing some basic conversions with the use of our calculator, I want to just give you the symbols for both minutes and seconds. So up on the top right, I'm just going to write that one degree is equal to 60 minutes, and that's going to look like this. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. So that little tick mark means minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds and seconds is going to take a double tick mark. Now, as we go to questions 16 and 17, we're given angles in decimal degrees, 164.2375 degrees. I want to express these two angles in 16 and 17 as degrees, minutes, and seconds. And this is often referred to as DMS, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So to do this, in geometry, you may have learned how to do these, these sort of conversions manually, but for the purpose of this class, we're going to use our calculators to let the technology do that for us. So at this time, go ahead and grab your calculator if you don't have it out already. And I'll do the same thing. So for number 16, I want to take the angle 164.2375 and convert that to degrees, minutes, and seconds. This is pretty easy. I'm just going to type in 1. 64.2375. Now there's going to be a certain menu that deals with uh, these conversions. And to get to that menu, you're going to, you're going to press second, and then the button that has apps on it. And you'll notice above it, there's the word angle. For this calculator here, it's written in blue, but it's kind of hard to see. And if you look at option four, there's a little arrow that says convert to DMS or convert to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I'm going to select option four, and then I'm going to press enter. And the answer is 164 degrees, 14 minutes, 15 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and write 164 degrees, 14 minutes, and 15 seconds. Okay, and now let's go to number 17, where we're asked to convert negative 37 Point four five two five to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So again, I'll queue up the calculator. I'll move it out of the way here. Negative 37.4525. Queue up that angle menu, which is second apps. Go to option four, and then press enter. And now we get negative 37 degrees, 27 minutes, nine seconds negative 37 degrees, 27 minutes, and nine seconds. And now we'll do two questions in which we go backwards. They give us degrees, minutes, and seconds, and we need to go backwards to just decimal degrees. Again, not too difficult, especially with the use of the calculator. So I'm going to cue the calculator up. Okay, I'm gonna start by clearing the existing entries, and the next thing I'm gonna do is start with 102, Queue up that angle menu by pressing second apps. I'm going to need the degree symbol, which is option one. I'm going to need to type 35 and then grab the minutes symbol, which is also in the angles menu. It's option two. And now it's a little weird. You would think that the seconds button would also be in the angle menu, but you'll notice that it's not there, which is weird. But if you press the green button, alpha, and then plus, you'll see that there's a little seconds symbol there. So to get seconds, we need to, uh, actually we still haven't pressed the 25 yet, so let's, let's continue with the 25, and now I need seconds, which is gonna be alpha plus. And this ends up being 102.5902778. I'll go to the nearest uh, three decimal places, or to the nearest thousandth, and say, 102.590. And now I'll take a look at the last one. I've queued the calculator up again. I'm clearing the existing entry. And I'll start by typing in 61. I'll get the angle menu. 
I'll grab the degree symbol and then I'll type in 45 and I'll grab the minutes symbol. And this particular problem doesn't have any seconds, so I'm done really, I just have to press enter. And we get 61.75 degrees. So in this short video, I've explained to you that sometimes more precise units of measure are required for angles. And hopefully in this video, I've shown you how to make the conversions back and forth from pure decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds.